Hey y'all, it's Malia Moon and I'm back with another video. If you are new here, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are returning, also like, comment, and subscribe. So today I feel like I'm going to, well, I came up here to do a natural face, a natural beat. The only thing different that I'm going to do is a red lip, but the face is still going to be natural. Like, you know, I want it to match my nails. Um, it's Friday night, so I do have a little, well, a big mimosa. And um, yeah, I just want to like talk to y'all and do my makeup. Um, for anybody that's interested in what I use, because I am a makeup artist, um, all my information is down below in the description box, my main channel and my makeup channel. So yeah, definitely go in there um, and follow both pages or whatever. And if you're interested to see how I get a flawless beat, definitely just stay tuned. All right, y'all. So as far as me doing my brows, um, well, actually what I, okay, let me start with this i do my foundation first i actually have like a new method and if you see me looking down it's because i'm looking in my camera but i actually have a new method i used to do my brows first but i actually do my face first now so i use the fit me matte poreless um that is what i use on my face so um this is golden caramel let me go ahead and show y'all that as well this is golden caramel if it focuses and sorry it's a little it's a little dirty it was in my little bag or whatever so i'm gonna go ahead and put this all over my face and this is the base of course <laughs> so this is the base so i'm gonna go ahead and just put that all over mm -hmm. And I really love this foundation. Like I worked for Mac for I worked for Mac for a long time. You know what I mean? But it um after I stopped working for Mac, like that was my favorite. You know what I mean? Like Mac was my favorite even after I stopped working for them. But recently I'm like, dang, like they doing the dang thing over at uh Maybelline. So I um really like how this because it does have to um oxidize. It might be showing up a tad bit red on the screen right now, but trust me, it oxidizes and when it does, it looks great. And then I just go down my neck a little teeny bit. Did I use the right one? I really hope I used the right one. Cause I have like all the colors <laughs> in these. So what is this? That's the mocha. Yeah, I used the right one, the golden caramel. So yeah, so after I do my base, I just go in with my concealer and my concealer that I use is the Milani concealer so let me go ahead and find that I haven't done my makeup in so long like so long it's been like two weeks that's a long time for me being someone that <laughs> used to do their makeup very frequently like going into the office and going into work and stuff um two weeks is quite a little bit for me but i mean sometimes i would just go into work i wouldn't have anything on my face honestly like i was like forget that all right so now i have my laura mercier powder and i just slap it on the ass <laughs> so my laura mercier which is one of my favorite setting powders. You can't even see that because the light is flaring on the logo. But yep. And I got to get some more soon because I am running out. All right. This is a trust the process <laughs> type thing because I know y'all like this girl thinks it's so red, but it's really not. Like, y'all see. So then I go in with a darker shade of the um, Maybelline Fit Me. So this is in Deep Golden instead of the Golden Caramel. This is in Deep Golden. Can y'all see the focus? There we go. All right. So that's in the Deep Golden. So I go in here and I use that right in the hollows of my cheek. 
little bit more because I don't like to use a lot like I just use enough you know what I mean to wash my brushes anyway so i'll just blend it out with the same brush and you see how it just gives me that depth right in there real cute real cute all right so there's that and then i'll take the same little and what i'm doing is i'm literally just dipping into here because i really don't need that much for this like I'll put like little dots right here on my nose and then um, I like to take my finger even though I have nails on right now I like to take my finger because it just blends it out so much better than any brush and go like right up the bridge of my nose like what right down the side to give it that you see how it just like gave it that little depth right there and that's how I contour my nose I just Then it just like kind of cuts that out and then i'm gonna go back in and just make sure it's got a little nice little blend to it well i'll probably go in with a different brush because that brush that i just used i used for something else so i'm probably just gonna go over a different brush and just make sure this is looking you know like it's supposed to look Um, so I have the elf this little palette. This is I just picked it up from Walgreens honestly But this is their blush palette in light. So it has oh, excuse me y'all. It has I hate when I get hair mouth. It has <laughs> like some cute colors in there. I don't know if y'all can really see those but um, Yeah, so let me hold on. Oh, I've been talking fast. I need All right, be back so, oh shoot, come on now y'all, come on. All right, so just grab my little brush from over here. My stuff is embarrassing me right now. So honestly y'all, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. When I, when I have this, I literally take off and just give myself a little, cause all of them mixed together is so pretty. Like it's, it's really pretty. Like. And I love blush. Like, I really love blush. I know y'all see it coming together. I know at first it was a little scary. Because y'all was like, um, this color is not matching. But it's all about the process, y'all. With makeup, especially when you're working with a camera like this. And I have lights and everything on. Like, it's gonna look a little off than it does in real light. Just because, like, you know, you're working with the, the lighting. Then you're working with the camera natural light. You know, trying to... You know adjust and stuff so sometimes it just is gonna look off but in person you're not gonna find one person that tell you that my that my makeup don't be beaten okay and that's just that on that and i ain't even trying to sound no type of way but i know my skill and i know what i bring to the table as far as my face okay so that's just that on that and that's how everybody need to feel especially if you you know what i mean it's just that confidence having confidence in yourself have a confidence in everything that you bring to the table and everything you put out to the world like and that's where it needs to be like don't let nobody tell you nothing about you unless you you know like people that love you of course like let them tell you you know give you criticism constructive criticism but you can tell somebody that loves you from just somebody that's hating okay you can tell the difference like it's not you can tell the difference but anywho so as far as my brows I just use a spoolie so I know everybody knows who the spoolie is let me try to get it a little in focus come on now camera I think it's I guess it's just two this is what I need to do okay there you go so got the spoolie and then I'm using a brown eyebrow 
pencil and the stuff don't rubbed off oh it's wet and wild so it's just a regular brown wet and wild brow pencil and i know y'all see that my makeup oxidized i know y'all see it okay i know y'all see it um yeah so once it oxidizes it really be your color like you just gotta trust in the process y'all definitely trust in the process and i've been doing makeup for so long like none of that you know like i get all the little tips and tricks so people are like oh it doesn't match your blah, 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 blah. like when you do videos and stuff because i seen like early youtube like i was an early youtube watcher like i was i watched i was watching youtube back in high school like 2010 to 2009 like beauty gurus you know what i mean and it's just you know i feel like everything happens for a reason like i'm starting you know what i mean i'm starting like really get on my youtube shit now but it's just like man oh man i'm just like because my channel malia moon this channel was a youtube channel when i first started like a makeup channel when i first started youtube and that was like over 10 years ago so imagine if i would have just stuck with it but you know everything happens for a reason and shoot i'm doing it now so it is what it is it really is what it is like i ain't crying over spilled milk poo that's one thing i can't do one thing i cannot okay so i got the base of my brows on uh yeah i got the base of them on so y'all see that so that's what i like to do i like to just you know outline them well color them in i guess if that's what you call it <laughs> just do a little coloring and then I'll go in with my angle brush, just here. This is a cute little angle brush. Oh, also, let me tell y'all this. These sets, like all the brushes that I'm using, they come in like a set, okay? Um, and it literally has everything. Like it has the flat top, the shadow brushes, um, the lip brushes, everything. And guess what? You can find them on my Amazon store. And the link is in my bio the link is in my well description this is an instagram the link is in my description so yeah go over there and definitely um find those it's under makeup makeup essentials and like the whole thing is only like i would say like eight dollars after tax girl these brushes i have so many sets of these brushes i think i've ordered at least four now at least four so definitely go over there and get you some and I'm telling you what I know not what I heard all right so as far as brows angled brush and let me oh that's empty I don't even need to have that up, up here no more so um I use Milani for my brows as well and I use these concealers the Milani concealers here my hands get so messy when I do my makeup because I like I love blending with my fingers like it's it's no blend like a skin on skin blend like and that's just what it is okay um so dip into that I use my hand as my canvas like all the time so dip into that and then just go along the bottom of the brow of course so I like to use you know a lighter shade of course my bad y'all my camera overheated talking about um internal temperature too hot whatever so we're back <laughs> but yeah so i finished that brow and then i'm just gonna go ahead of course and do the other one and um hopefully i'm going out somewhere tonight hopefully this would be a shame to waste Alright, so there you have it, your perfect brows. Oh, it's like a, I love a sculpted brow, like, I love it. 
All right. So that's that. All right. Um, let me brush my hair because I hear when my hair be out of place. A little brush. A little brush ain't never hurt nobody. All right. So after I do the bottom part, I just go ahead and do. And actually, where's my purse? Walgreens today and I got hold on y'all and I got um a couple things so I definitely need it I love this stuff this is the elf brow gel I use this on myself and I use it on my clients I just love it because it keeps your brows in place and then of course I got the telescopic the L'Oreal telescopic they had buy one get one half off so I definitely had to get those that's my favorite and then <laughs> Carmex by the pack. So got that and then I got some gummies. Alright, so shit. And yeah, so as far as the top of my brows go, I usually just go in with the same my same shade of um foundation. Like just sculpt it out like that. Cause it's just easier and I don't you know nobody wants a little halo effect but I do like some people don't even sculpt the top of their brows but I love a good sculpted brow I just do always have love a good sculpted brow and then of course the other All right, and then if I like see any, you know, parts that I don't like, I'll just go back with my pencil, sculpt it out again. You know what I mean? Makeup is all about like just find what you like, find what you don't like. Just trial and error, honestly. And that's what I always tell people. Like when people ask me, like, well, tell me. They be like, oh, like how do you blah 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 do this? Like it's it's really just about practice. Like makeup is all about practice. Sorry, y'all. I'm looking for my highlighter. In I use a fan brush but I can't find it right now and I ain't about to sit up here <laughs> looking for feel me so yeah just a little brightness y'all see it coming through that's crazy that I can't find the highlighter I was looking for though because I literally just had it but anyways so I'm gonna go ahead and take the um, Elf Brow Elf with a T H Elf <laughs> Eyes Lip Shade Brow Gel that I just had and put that on my brows. It has an eyelash side and an eyebrow side, but they look like the same side. To me. They look literally the same. Like as far as the gel, like. I see I guess I see why they separate them out or whatever but I use them both for my brows because I don't need it for my lashes at all um, so. and this literally just keeps your brow in place like once you sculpt it out or whatever you don't want the hairs moving or whatever so you just want to keep your brows in place know what lashes I'm about to wear um really don't know I have so many that I could wear but I don't know which ones I'm gonna wear all right so there's that there's the lashes and bottom lashes and like I'm just gonna wait for those to dry and while I wait for my lashes to dry I usually just do my lip so here we have um MAC pencil and chestnut this is my favorite pencil Am I showing y'all right? Has always been my favorite pencil. Will continue to be my favorite lip pencil. Come on. All right. So, so yeah, we're just putting this on the lip. And 
and I love a full lip like I have full lips so I love like getting it right on my lip line and then I love getting the cutest bow too and then with this I don't go crazy like usually I'll do like you know a lot of lip liner especially if I'm wearing a light color I'll like oh like I'll line my lips like a lot but today I'm doing red so I don't want to do too much of the lip liner because I really want the red to pop the lip liner is just more of a guide for me a retro matte so it's supposed to be really really matte so I will literally like like rub it on something so that it gets like that oil out because I really want Ruby Woo to be like you know it's true color It's still not even a true color. I feel like I did maybe a little bit too much of the well, it's still bomb though. I can't even lie, it's definitely still bomb. Like it's still giving. But I just wanted to give a little more. It's like a little less retro matte than I like for it to be. So we got our red on <laughs> finally we got our red on um and it's looking how i want it to look i do want it to be a little drier a little more retro matte but it's okay like my lips feel you know they're moisturized or whatever and then they're really red so that's fine i do need to find the um lashes that i'm about to put on so give me one second and i'll be back all right y'all so i'm back i found the lashes that i want to wear um and then i also got my red popping okay i got it i had to you know pat it off and get it get it popping okay because i like for it to be dry i don't like when it's like looking oily because then it just doesn't look it's not popping okay and i needed to at least some somewhat match the nail so these are the lashes that i'm wearing Real dramatic. I got, oh my god, I've been doing that the whole time and I got dang makeup all over my hand. <laughs> okay, so these are lashes that I'm wearing. And I got my scissors around here somewhere because these definitely need to be cut a little bit. Let me just try them on to see what they get. Oh, it's just a little try on. Alright y'all, so, and I'll order my other lashes that I really love because I was, I ran out of them. <laughs> with a nice red lip he took the hair a little more so y'all can really see the face
Where's my blending brush? Let me just blend a little bit more. So that is my Friday night little look. Um, I hope y'all really enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> I know it was a lot and I was like rambling through the video or whatever. Well, I don't think I was rambling, but I was trying to find a lot of stuff throughout the video. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you all in my book. Actually, it's Friday night. Let's have a toast. If you are 21 and older, let's have a toast and please drink responsibly. Cheers. Have a good night y'all. Bye.